Have you ever wondered why confidence seems elusive to you? Could it be tied to certain habits you've unknowingly adopted? These are questions many of us grapple with as we attempt to navigate the labyrinth that is self-improvement. Confidence, that elusive trait we all aspire to, can often be undermined by habits we may not even be aware of. In today's discussion, we're going to shed light on a critical aspect of personal development, the interplay between confidence and habits. We'll be taking a close look at 15 common habits that have a knack for chipping away at our self-esteem and confidence. But we won't stop there. We'll also be equipping you with practical strategies to conquer these habits, reclaim your confidence and unlock your full potential. As we delve into these habits, you might recognize some that you've fallen victim to. But remember, awareness is the first step towards change. Starting with the first three habits, procrastination, negative self-talk, and fear of failure. Our journey begins with procrastination, a master thief that steals time, opportunities, and ultimately, our confidence. It's that voice whispering, why do today what you can put off until tomorrow? But here's the secret. Tomorrow never comes. The remedy? Action. Start with small tasks, break larger ones down, and soon, you'll gain momentum, leaving procrastination in the dust. Next we encounter negative self-talk, a crafty saboteur. It's the internal chatter that magnifies our flaws while minimizing our strengths. It's the, I can't, I'm not good enough, and what if I mess up, echoing in our minds. But here's the twist, we control the narrative. By consciously replacing negative thoughts with positive affirmations, we dismantle this destructive habit. Remember, our words shape our reality, so choose them wisely. Finally, we face the fear of failure, a powerful foe that keeps us from taking risks and stepping out of our comfort zones. It's the dread of making mistakes, of not meeting expectations, the fear of falling short. Yet it's through mistakes and failures that we learn and grow. Embrace failure as a stepping stone to success, rather than a stumbling block. Turn fear into fuel and watch your confidence soar. These first three habits are common culprits, but with conscious effort, they can be overcome. Moving on to the next set of habits, perfectionism, overthinking, and lack of physical activity. First up, perfectionism. Perfectionism is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it drives you to strive for excellence, but on the other, it can create a debilitating fear of failure. This fear can paralyze you, preventing you from taking action and, consequently, undermining your confidence. Now, don't get me wrong, aiming for high standards isn't a bad thing. But when you equate your self-worth with achieving perfection, it's a recipe for disaster. The solution? Embrace imperfection. Recognize that mistakes are a part of growth. Instead of seeing them as failures, view them as opportunities to learn and improve. Next, we have overthinking. Overthinking is like a hamster wheel in your mind that just won't stop spinning. It leads you to analyze every situation to death, creating a whirlwind of unnecessary worry and self-doubt. The more you overthink, the more you question your abilities and the more your confidence erodes. So how do you break free from this vicious cycle? Start by acknowledging your tendency to overthink, then practice mindfulness. Pay attention to the present moment without judgment. This can help you to stop getting caught up in your thoughts and start living in the here and now. Finally, lack of physical activity. It's no secret that regular exercise is good for your health, but did you know it's also a powerful confidence booster? When you exercise, your body releases endorphins, chemicals that trigger positive feelings. Plus, setting and achieving fitness goals can give your self-confidence a significant boost. If you're not a fan of the gym, don't worry. Even simple activities like walking, dancing, or even gardening can get your heart rate up and help you feel better about yourself. These habits might seem harmless, but they can take a serious toll on your confidence over time. So, take the first step towards breaking these habits today. Your confidence will thank you for it. Now let's explore habits 7 to 9, not setting goals, lack of self-care, and comparing yourself to others. We start with the seventh habit, not setting goals. Picture yourself on a journey with no destination in mind. Sounds aimless, right? That's precisely what life becomes without goals. Goals give us a sense of direction, purpose, and achievement. When we lack these, our confidence wanes. It's like being a ship adrift at sea with no land in sight. The antidote? Start setting small, achievable goals. Celebrate each victory, however small, and let this fuel your confidence. Remember, your goals are your guiding stars. Next up is the eighth habit, lack of self-care. Often we're so caught up in the hustle and bustle of life that we neglect the person that matters most, ourselves. 
Ignoring our physical, emotional, and mental well-being chips away at our self-esteem. It's as if we're saying we're not worth the effort. But here's the thing. Self-care is not a luxury. It's a necessity. Start prioritizing your wellness. Engage in activities that nourish your body and soul. Make time for exercise, eat healthily, get enough sleep, and practice mindfulness. Caring for yourself is the first step towards believing in yourself. Finally, we tackle the ninth habit, comparing yourself to others. In the age of social media, it's easy to fall into the trap of comparing our behind the scenes with everyone else's highlight reel. But remember, each person's journey is unique. Comparing yourself to others only serves to diminish your self-confidence. Instead, focus on your progress. Celebrate your achievements and learn from your mistakes. Use others' success as inspiration, not a yardstick to measure your worth. Breaking free from these habits can significantly boost your confidence. Remember the journey to bolstering your confidence is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It requires consistent effort and patience. But rest assured, the reward is well worth the effort. Stay tuned as we delve into the next set of habits that could be undermining your confidence. The next three habits on our list are not accepting compliments, avoiding social situations, and not asking for help. First up is the habit of not accepting compliments. It might seem like a small thing but refusing compliments can erode your confidence over time. When you dismiss a compliment, you're essentially telling yourself that you're not worthy of praise, and this can lead to feelings of insecurity and self-doubt. Instead, try to embrace the positive feedback. Say thank you and let yourself believe in the kind words others say about you. It's a simple change, but it can have a profound impact on your self-esteem. Next, we have avoiding social situations. This habit can be a significant confidence killer. If you consistently avoid social events, you may start to feel isolated and disconnected from others. Moreover, avoiding social interactions means missing out on opportunities to practice and improve your social skills. To combat this habit, start small, attend a social gathering that you're comfortable with, and gradually work your way up to larger events. Remember, it's not about being the life of the party, it's about participating and connecting with others. Lastly, we have the habit of not asking for help. This habit often stems from a fear of appearing weak or incompetent. However, refusing to ask for help when you need it can leave you feeling overwhelmed and stressed which can undermine your confidence. Remember, everyone needs help sometimes, and it's okay to ask for it. By seeking assistance when you need it, you're not only making your life easier but you're also showing strength and maturity by acknowledging that you don't have all the answers. These habits may seem daunting to overcome but with conscious effort and practice, it's entirely possible to break free from these confidence-crushing patterns. Remember, change doesn't happen overnight. Be patient with yourself and celebrate each small victory along the way. Overcoming these habits can help you become more confident and socially adept. Finally, we have the last three habits, not taking risks, focusing on the past, and not believing in yourself. Let's start with not taking risks. This habit can lead to stagnation, as it limits opportunities for growth and learning. Counteract this by challenging yourself, embracing uncertainty, and stepping out of your comfort zone. Next, focusing on the past. Dwelling on past mistakes or missed opportunities can erode your self-confidence. To overcome this, learn to forgive yourself, let go of past failures, and focus on the present. Finally, not believing in yourself. This is perhaps the most destructive habit, it can make you question your abilities and worth. To counter this, practice self-affirmation, set realistic goals, and celebrate your achievements, no matter how small. Remember, confidence isn't built in a day, it's a journey, but by recognizing and addressing these bad habits, you're already on the path to a more confident you. Today we've unpacked 15 bad habits that can destroy your confidence. These habits ranging from negative self-talk to fear of failure are all too common, and they can significantly undermine your self-esteem. But the good news is, they're not unbeatable. By recognizing these habits, you've already taken the first step towards overcoming them. The next step is to actively work on changing them. This could mean replacing negative self-talk with positive affirmations, or learning to see failure as a learning opportunity rather than a setback. Remember, change isn't always easy, but it's always worth it. You have the power to shape your own perception and reclaim your confidence. Each small step you take is a step towards a more confident you. So don't wait for change to happen. Be the change. Start your journey to a more confident you by tackling these habits. And remember, 
change begins with one small step.